All right, so it's just your, you know, a standard switch. I've already taken most of the screws out. I haven't even opened this up yet. I'm just gonna take the last screw out here. Come on. All right, so now how do you open this thing? Just lift up, slide back. Oh, looks like the face just pops off. And something snagged on this left hand corner here. It looks like, yeah, it's a cable. So that's pro. All right, wait a minute. Everything looks like it's all right. All right, so we're in. Is that cable on a plug? Yep. Okay. So this is good news so far is it's got a separate power supply. So that's, that's fantastic. So if all else fails, we can always scab another supply into this. All the capacitors visually look okay. I don't suspect them to be the caps on this board. This is all the low voltage DC stuff. I'm thinking maybe it's in the switching supply. Uh, it's most likely in there. So I'm gonna have to pull this board out and see uh, if there's any damage on the bottom of the board or if it's, uh, you know, I have to ESR these caps and see what's going on. Yeah, this is it's possibly if I can't fix the supply, which I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. I might be able to just buy one fit it in here on this footprint because it just looks like a standard you know 5 volt or 12 volt supply that's it that's it cool all right so I got the multimeter out now and uh, what I want to do is I want to check and make sure that uh, I have continuity from the bridge over to the uh, power supply input. Make sure there's nothing interrupting that. Let's turn the. Uh... Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, the AC end of the bridge to one side of the AC input. Good. Good. All right, so that fuse, I did find a fuse. It's a little uh, circular doodad here, uh, two amp fuse. It's right here. That appears to be good. So, we got something going on here, maybe in the, in the filtering. I suspect one of these caps is no good. Uh, whether it's on the AC side or the DC side or maybe this filter um, I'm not sure we're gonna have to plug this back in and just uh, see what it does because everything seems to appear to uh, the the AC is getting to where it's supposed to go so nothing is overloaded so that leads me to be believe it's a capacitor and there's no shorts on the output either all right <clears throat> so let's plug this back in temporarily. Uh, and the only way to tell if this thing works is if the fan is on and the power, uh, power LED is on. So that's what we're going to go by for indication. So let's... Get a plug plugged in. All right, let's throw some power at it. Holy shit. It's working. I don't know if you can see that. Got a power LED, fans running. Son of a bitch, it's a capacitor. 
Yeah, it's got to be a capacitor. Because it's cold down in my basement, and it's about 70 degrees in here, so it's got to be one of these caps is, uh, is flaking out. Like I said, temperature, when caps start to fail, temperature is brutal. I mean, it's just a matter of, a co like, a couple of degrees, and it just, it's it's a, a, the difference between working and not working, it's, it's unreal, so. Okay, so let's hit this up with some free spray, see if we can figure out which cap it is. Sometimes when you give it a little air, it actually cools it down faster. Okay, that still powers up. Let's just hit all three of these. Give it a little second. Power it up. All right, hit this large one. Powers right up. So, so there's one little tiny electrolytic beside that cap down here. It's hidden behind the big cap in the transformer. Let's give that a squirt. Ah, bingo. No power. Son of a bitch, that's the one. Well, at least it's a little cap. All right. So I'll have to pull that out and uh, let's ESR it and see what's up with it. All right, so I got that cap out of here. It's a little uh, 25 volt at 47 mic. A little, little guy here, so... We should be able to come up with one of these, no problem. Let's uh, let's ESR this little bad boy. Okay, zero it up. And at 25 volts, 47 microfarads, it should be no greater than one. All right. Oh, I'd say that's 10 times greater than one. So that is the problem. All right, bad electrolyte. So let me hunt one of these down and we'll try and put a new one in. Okay, so I've located a 25 at 47 microfarad. Let's see what that should read on ESR. Point 0.7, it's under one, so. We'll put this in. It's the only thing I got. It's a, it's a double ended, double leaded uh, instead of a single sided leaded part, but uh, it'll work. I'm just gonna fold one end over the other, and that's it. We'll throw that in, and we'll see what it does. All right, so uh, I got that cap replaced. I'm gonna put it in, and we're gonna hit it with some spray again. Just to make sure it's no other component in that area. And we'll see what we get. Power it up. We're all set. Uh, since it's about 8 degrees outside, I might just throw this outside for an hour. Bring it in and make sure she still fires up. But other than that, I, I, I really do think this is fixed now. So that's it. Uh, two cent part. I repaired a, uh, you know, a couple hundred dollar uh, switch. Well, I think it was a couple hundred dollars brand new, but I don't think it is now. But it's still a, a nice piece of equipment I'd like to keep. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what you see here, subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you in the next.